In season 5 of Outlander, Brianna and Roger are officially married. But the celebrations are short-lived for the Fraser family as Jamie is officially called on by Governor Tryon to join the English army and lead a militia to hunt and kill Murtaugh and the Regulators. Jamie rallies a Scottish militia and appoints Roger as his captain, all the while urging Murtaugh to flee for safety. But Murtaugh is an idealistic man who continues to rally his Regulator forces against the British. Murtaugh also tries to convince Jocasta to marry him, but despite her love for Murtaugh, she marries a more suitable match instead. The tension reaches a boiling point when Jamie's militia is forced to join together with the British army to fight the Regulators at the Battle of Alamance. Brianna remembers this battle from history and warns Jamie that the entire Regulator army would be killed. Roger is sent behind enemy lines to warn Murtaugh to turn back. While in the Regulator camp, Roger is attacked by his ancestor, Buck McKenzie, son of Dougal and Galus, over a misunderstanding involving Roger and Buck's wife, Morag. Despite his best efforts, Jamie is forced to lead his men into battle, donned in full red coat attire. During their victory over the Regulators, Jamie desperately hopes that Murtaugh is not amongst the casualties. On the battlefield, Jamie is attacked by a Regulator, but saved by Murtaugh. Unfortunately, one of Jamie's loyal militia shoots Murtaugh, unaware of Jamie's relationship with him. Jamie rushes to his godfather's side, and Murtaugh dies in his arms. With the battle over and the Regulators defeated, a bitter Jamie informs Governor Tryon that his duties had been fulfilled. And now that the battle was over, the Fraser family realized that Roger had never returned from the Regulator camp. They find that Roger had been mistaken for a Regulator by the British troops and hung with the other Regulator survivors. Fortunately, the Frasers find Roger in time to save his life, but the ordeal greatly traumatizes him. As Jamie, Claire, and their family settle back down in Fraser's Ridge, they discover that Stephen Bonnet was still alive and was working with Aunt Jocasta's shady lawyer Gerald Forbes to claim Jimmy as his own. And since Jocasta plans on giving Jimmy the deed to River Run in her will, this would make Bonnet and Forbes very rich. When Forbes attacks Jocasta for giving away too much of her fortune to the Frasers before he can get his hands on it, Jocasta's loyal servant Ulysses kills him. And when Bonnet kidnaps Brianna in an attempt to take Jimmy as his own, the Frasers arrive and have him arrested. Bonnet is sentenced to death by drowning, which was his greatest fear. Before he drowns, Brianna arrives and shoots him in the head, leading Roger to ask if the act was done for vengeance or mercy. All season long, Claire has been trying to bring medical practices from her time to the 1700s. She successfully develops penicillin, has modern needles and syringes crafted, and trains Marsley on how to be a doctor. Claire begins to write medical advice under the pseudonym Dr. Rawlings that goes against the common practices of the time. Eventually, Claire's medical advice accidentally spreads to the local newspapers. Young Ian returns home to Fraser's Ridge, having left the Mohawk tribe after losing his wife. The Frasers revealed to him that Claire, Brianna, and Roger were from the future. Now that Jimmy was old enough for his parents to confirm his ability to time travel, Brianna and Roger say their goodbyes to Fraser's Ridge and head off to a nearby group of Standing Stones. When Roger, Brianna, and Jimmy attempt to pass through the stones, they fail. Roger and Brianna take this as a sign that they were meant to remain in the 1700s. When they return to Fraser's Ridge, they discover that Claire had been kidnapped. A local man named Lionel Brown had gathered his men to kidnap Claire after discovering that she was the mysterious Dr. Rawlings. They strongly opposed the anachronistic advice which went against their beliefs and gave autonomy to women. Amongst Lionel's group is a man named Wendigo Donner, who was amongst the group of Native Americans that had traveled back in time with Ottertooth. Claire begs for Wendigo to save her, but he refuses out of fear for his own safety. Lionel's men viciously gang rape Claire before Jamie arrives with the men of Fraser's Ridge to save her. They slaughter Lionel's men and take the leader back to Fraser's Ridge for questioning. While there, Marsley uses the medical knowledge taught to her by Claire to kill the villain. Jamie takes Lionel's body back to his brother Richard, the mayor of Brownsville. While Richard acknowledges that Lionel got what he deserved, he also makes a veiled threat that Jamie would also suffer the consequences for his actions. And that's everything you need to know before watching season 6 of Outland. Let me know some of your favorite moments from the series so far, but uh, I think we know what some of your favorite moments were. Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, and that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.